A group of commercial farmers near Tsanin in Limpopo have resorted to using solar power to keep operations afloat. The owners of the Gubitz commercial farm say the move to combine electricity from the national grid and solar power is value for money. The rolling blackouts affected operations, but farmers say the impact was minimal due to the backup renewable energy. Video journalist Llewellyn Carstens and SABC News reporter Katle Gonyoni filed us this report. An array of solar components utilizing powerful ultraviolet rays from the sun were installed across Gubit's farming operations in order to maximize production two years ago. The panels were seen as a cost-effective measure and a way to ensure uninterrupted power supply. The decision to unplug provisionally from the grid allowed the macadamia and avocado farmers to maintain steady production. Supplies continued to be exported to Europe at required standards. We could not actually run the whole pack tiles at once. We had to actually stop sections and, and lower sections and stop start and which take, take, everything costs money to run. So the longer it takes us, the more expensive the product at the end is. So we did that to for for the most importantly was for the fridges the fridges has to run between a constant six to nine degrees for the avocados to be able to be exported so if the temperature fluctuates too much uh, it it becomes a difficult process because we we our avocados gets uh, inspected and then we won't be able to get exported 75 kilowatts per hour of energy is generated from this system comprising of maximum power point trackers inverters, a generator and a battery system. The capacity is sufficient to sustain the pack house downstairs in the event of a blackout. The size of these panels are 540 watt panels um, so more or less we get about 80% uh, efficiency from, from the panels with, with our climate and, and, and the eye radiation levels and um, so yeah we have to actually add a another 20 percent to actually get to the optimum that we actually require the hybrid power system is largely dependent on the angle of the sun and the overall percentage of ionizing radiation and energy that gets converted into reliable power supply certain areas in our countries got different um, uv rays um, we call it eye radiation um, so uh, like uh, limpopo has got a very low UV um, eye radiation level, which uh, is not the, the, the same as, as Gauteng and the Kalahari and the Karoo. The amount of kilowatt power from the system, which costs one and a half million rand, covers daily operational needs. Farm managers want to add more voltage to the system with the likelihood of putting some of the stored power into the grid. We're having a problem with the municip municipality that we are not allowed to uh, put the power back into the grid. Uh, I think it's going to take some time to go through that stage, but if possible, we would like to do that and put some more solar on. Meanwhile, government plans to reduce the regulatory requirements for solar projects in areas of low and medium environmental sensitivity. Katla Khonyoni, SABC News, Zanin.